We all use and love SmartList. If you're a GP user, you probably use it every day. But if you're wanting to use it with bank reconciliation information, sometimes it gets a little bit cumbersome because receipt information is mixed in with deposit information and it could create something that looks like duplicate values or duplicate transactions. So I'm going to show you how you can narrow down the range so that you're not seeing that duplication. You're not seeing both the receipt and where the receipts made the, make the deposit. So I'm going to open up the financial series and go to bank transactions. And what I want to do is add a column to this. So I'm going to click on column and I'm going to choose add and I'm going to find the column called document status. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and OK again. And now you're going to notice that the document status is showing up as transaction and in some cases it's showing up as receipt. So I want to go into my search. First thing I'm going to do is add a bunch of zeros in there. And I'm going to come in and tell it on my document status, I do not want it equal to receipt. Or actually, it probably would be easier if I said is equal to transaction. So let me do that. Those are the two options. And now I'm going to click OK. And now I'm not seeing the receipts. I'm only seeing the transaction information. It'll make it a lot easier for me to use. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this as a favorite. And I'm going to pull it up. And I'm going to say bank transactions, no receipts. And I'll make it visible to everybody. And I'm going to click on add and add it as a favorite. And now, once I've got that added and I go to the financial series, if I click on Smart List Favorites, I'm going to see that favorite listed there. So it'll make it easier for me to work. So here it is. Bank transactions, no receipts. Now, if I want to make it always show that particular column as a default, I'm going to come into the administration tab and let's make the setup bigger. And I'm going to go into Smart List options. And I'm going to change it from accounts to bank transactions. And now I could see the columns that show up as a default. I'm going to go through and find my document status. There it is. <laughs> Had to do a little searching for it. And there's my document status. And now I can go ahead. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make this a big number two, click OK. And now when I click on Smart List and I go to my bank transactions default, that status column is automatically going to be included and it's going to exceed the 1000 mark. So this is a little bit about Smart List setup and a little bit about re bank reconciliation uh, review. Hope this helps.